and mentally sit up men and stop running after these girls in skirts because that girl in skirt does not have only you the moment you leave you dress up another person will come on especially those uh the those younger ones they get money from you and they use it to to treat or to take care of their younger boyfriends apparently you're not going to marry them you have a wife at home what are you doing with young girls? Please leave them alone and stop spoiling them with money. You will sit down there and say, hey, they want money. How do you know they want money? Are you not the first one that go to them? guys guys welcome back if you have not subscribed click the red button and subscribe did you watch the first segment of this video i split it in two so that it's not too long this is for married men married men especially nigerian married men i don't know how it is in your area but married men married men you guys people are pointing on side cheeks that side cheeks are breaking the homes you guys are the cause of breaking your own home and making your wife uncomfortable or making your bringing unhappiness to the woman that you took a vow with so married men you need to learn how to take care of your wife from when she was 20 something or 30 something you married her you promised to spend the rest of your life with her and then down the road, maybe after childbearing, you figure out she's not the best one for you again because you want to eat different, different soup. Eh? They say in my language, uh, you eat onubu soup today, tomorrow you eat akara, the other day you eat jollof rice and akamu. Eh? It's good for you, right? Well, how do you feel? How do you marry somebody and promise somebody and promise God? That you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody and you inflict pain on that person. How do you feel? How does it feel? You guys need to wake up and start fixing your home. Yes, my mother told me that if you want to put your household together, that you as a woman, that it depends on, that it depends on you. There's yes and then there is no. Most of you guys are breaking your homes. Be a good husband. Be a good father to your children. Because whatever you're doing, the kids are looking. You think that they don't know that they're young. Uh-uh. They know. It affects them psychologically, emotionally, and mentally. Sit up, men, and stop running after these girls in skirts. Because that girl in skirt does not have only you. The moment you leave, you dress up, another person will come on. Especially those uh, the, those younger ones, they get money from you and they use it to, to treat or to take care of their younger boyfriends. Apparently, you're not going to marry them. You have a wife at home. What are you doing with young girls? Please leave them alone and stop spoiling them with money. You will sit down there and say, hey, they want money. How do you know they want money? Are you not the first one that go to them? If you don't go to her, she wouldn't. you wouldn't know that she wants money. Why are you breaking your homes? Five things I want to list out to you how to be a good husband and a good father. One is you need to start paying attention to your wife. You, you, number one is you need to be there for your wife. You guys probably started this journey together. You need to end it. You need to follow this journey along. So be there for your wife. Be a good listener. Listen to her. Be emotional. Show some compassion. Be a compassionate person. Sometimes show some empathy. A lot of men, a lot of African men, Nigerian men, they don't give a hoot how you feel. They don't even look at your face. They, looking at your face is something extraordinary. They don't care about how you feel deep down. They are the most selfish people most of them are the most selfish set of people that you can ever imagine they are not there for the wife being it physically mentally emotionally they don't they're not there for the wives 
Yes, you will say you provide them with a monetary value. So what happens to the emotions? Be there for your wife. Be proud of your wife. If you are not proud of your wife outside, like I know some guys, before you even say one, they show you the pictures of their wife on their phone. They will tell you a whole lot of stories about their wives. Yes, be one of those men who are proud of your wives. Because you know what? When you are proud of your wife, it has a good positive impact in your daily living, your business. People will talk about you. Oh, that guy that takes care of the wife. When I say takes care of the wife, it has nothing to do with monetary values. Be there. Be your wife's best friend. Let her have a shoulder to talk to. It's because you guys are lacking presence in most of you guys. Most of you guys' home. This is why some married women cheat because you're never there to listen to her story, to pat on her back, to cry with her, to share her business, to share her emotions. You need to learn how to be there for your wife. Don't just. Your wife should not just be your mother, your baby mother. There is difference between a wife and a baby mother. So if you call this person your wife, give it all it takes. Make it work. Make her happy. Forget about the side chicks. The side chicks are not permanent. They will come. They will leave. Next day, next time, next day, they will become somebody else's side Cheat. How do you feel about it that you and three or four other men are sharing one woman? Whereas you have one at home who is available for you 247, just you alone. But rather, you want to go out there and share a woman with other men. Are you not afraid of STDs? Are you not afraid of your business going down the drain? These things are the causes why some of you guys' businesses go down the drain because you continue to cheat on your wife and the Lord that you serve, not me, the one that you serve is not going to let your wife go through that. So it's a source of punishment most of the time. Lord will come and tell you, nah, you know what it is, I am going to punish you this way just to make sure, just to try to see if your face can turn this way instead of being on the other route. So God has a way of dealing with you guys. So if you if you take a vow with a woman, remember, if an asshole son a webo, it's all these side chicks that will go and carry STD and give you and then you transfer that over to your wife because she does not have one partner. She's sleeping with you. She's sleeping with three, four other men. You get it and you go over and you transfer that to your wife. And tomorrow you stand up and you say, I'm a married man. Married man for what? Married man. A lot of you guys do not, does not deserve to be a father. Some of you guys are just sperm donors. Because if you are a father and the husband material, you will know how to treat your children and treat your wife. Because whatever, however you treat your wife is going to have an effect on your children, whether you want to believe it or not. So if you start thinking about the well-being of your children and the well-being of your wife, who, the, the wife who is mother of your children, you need to sit up your ass and say, you know what, enough is enough. All this money that you guys are throwing around on younger girls, why don't you use it and, and create employment? Why don't you go to the hospital and pay for people? There are so many people who are being held in the hospital for only 10 to 20,000 naira. 10 to 20,000 naira is about 30 to 50 dollars. Some people cannot afford to pay that hospital bills. Yet there is a woman that because she opens her leg, you want to give her hundreds and hundreds of millions. For what? For the happiness that will only last five minutes or less than that. It does not worth it. It doesn't worth it. I can't stress enough about this issue i always talk about this issue on this platform go home to your wife and be with your wife how do you feel being on top of somebody somebody else that is not your wife what do you tell that person and then you take a shower you come home you use the same body you go on top of your wife how do you feel what do you tell those people outside do you tell them you i want somebody to answer this question for me do you tell them you love them? Do you tell them that they're sweet? Do you tell them that they're sweeter than your wife? I assure you, 
I guarantee you that at some point in your life, your wife was the sweetest thing out there. And then all of a sudden, everything goes sour. Why? You got to make it work. Two of you must make it work, especially you men. Stop cheating on your wives. So guys, I'm going to leave you guys here. Leave your thoughts and comment down below and let's get this conversation going. Love you guys. Bye.